nothing to do with the brain condition. Peripheral vascular disease has nothing to do with the peripheral vascular system. All of these things, like everything else in medicine, are just manifestations of one disease. And the disease is really not the heart, it's not the brain. Those are the effects. The disease itself is caused by the damage to the inside lining of our blood vessels. And when that's damaged enough that it blocks blood to a heart, a brain, a toe, then it's not the toe, the brain, or the heart that's the problem. It's the thing that brings blood to them. So that's what I meant. So what does that mean? Then what I'm trying, what we're saying is we need to change the discussion about what the disease is. Because what we've done in the medical profession is we've given a bunch of diseases nails for which we went and developed hammers. <laughs> So, and we have doctors and specialists, and I'm not bemoaning any of that, because you know, I was one of those guys, but we're not trained to be able to really deal with disease on the cause of the problem. We're trained to react to its local problem. So that's the context out of which that statement comes. And I think you'll hear more about who I believe where the real pharmacy is, is the kitchen, and what you select out of your grocery store. That's the real pharmacy. And, and what we need to do, if we're going to get ahead, and, I, and I'll say this and I'll stop. And I made this point the other day. A few weeks or a few months ago, we had one person in the entire United States that had Ebola. One, and one death. Sorry, we had one death. And how much did you hear about it? All the time, all day long for days and days and days. And I would say probably at least two weeks. But in that same two week period, in that same two week period, we probably had more than 15,000 people that died from a heart attack, or what we call a heart attack. And you heard nothing about that. That's a travesty. Those, a life is important, every life is important. And the fact that we allow 1,400 people a day to die from a preventable disease, whether it be heart disease or other diseases, is a crime against humanity. And that we should be outraged and we should be suing our government for allowing this to happen because it's totally preventable. And we need the resources redirected to make sure that we do what we need to do about that. And I'm going to stop because I'll get a lot of